think it's without surprise that April is, hasn't been that much different from the previous months. I mean, we're still seeing sales decline. In January, what was interesting is sellers were motivated a little bit by fear, a little bit of lack of consumer confidence. So they were putting their homes on the market in expectation that everybody was going to be trying to sell at the same time. And now that there has been uh, an acceptance of, of what the current market situation is, what we're finding are that sellers are rethinking whether or not they really need to sell their home, that maybe that fear has eased off a little bit. And so now our listings have eased off. As it is right now, things are fairly stable. And in fact, in terms of pricing, uh, the benchmark price for detached homes actually increased from last April uh, of, of about 1.9%. So we're seeing prices are holding on at this point and we'll just have to wait and see. Sales activity in April continued to fall relative to those elevated levels of activity we saw last year in April. Now those levels were relatively elevated. However, we should consider what's happening on a longer term basis. Year to date, sales have dropped by 30% over last year, nearly 18% over the five year average and over 20% from the 10 year average. Now this does not come as a surprise given the current economic conditions. Oil prices continue to remain low. We're seeing job losses occur in the energy sector and this is having an overall impact on consumer confidence in the market. With that being said, because we've had less sales activity and inventory levels that have been relatively higher, this is causing downward pressure on pricing. And we've seen for the fifth consecutive month that prices have fallen on a monthly basis. If this trend continues, what it will do is it will impact the level of inventory. So it'll help limit some of that upward pressure on inventory levels and hopefully help limit some of that decline that's happening in prices. Price is really indicative of how many buyers there are for a property. And you're more likely to gain, you know, the price point that's market value based on, you know, the number of buyers. So if there's less buyers, typically that means that you're going to maybe take longer to sell or you might have to readjust your expectations on pricing. A realtor can really help you through the, that process.